What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking John 64 here continuing the Fallout 4 series. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series so far because I know in the last episode we ended up fighting a boss. And um, it was a great ending by the way because I ended up killing it with a rocket launcher. And it also, it took me two rounds to kill that boss because the first time I did not know what to expect after I killed like a bunch of those crabbies. And then a big ass mother crab just came out of nowhere and killed me like right instantly. And then the second try was pretty much of a, um, you know, I knew what to do. And I freaking found a rocket launcher randomly and I killed the queen. So it was called the Myrler Queen uh, and uh, it was an intense battle. So anyways, after that battle... Uh, we ended up capturing this place right here called the castle, uh, led by the Minutemen, by the way. And um, it's a huge place. I mean, I already checked it out, and uh, we all saw it in the last episode, and it was a freaking huge-ass place. So um, what I want to do right now is give you guys a tour. Because I know in the last episode, there was nothing. There was nothing customized at all. None of this was actually here. All this right here is actually new. That's all me right there. So, um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a house tour. A little bit of a crib, um, what's it called? Cribs. An episode of Cribs. So, right here in the front, usually this, there's like a whole pile of dirt here. An open, big-ass wedge. And instead of having it like that, I created myself a little barrier right here. So, people can cross over and then cross down. And also, check out the little town that I got here going on. Um, I want to show you guys like with this weapon instead. So, right here in this little area, we got a bunch of stores. It's like a little warehouse that I want to do, but I stopped because I, I was running out of room. Now, check it out. In the top right corner, you can see the size. It's, it's, it's already like all in yellow. And I believe you fill out the whole, the whole bar, you cannot add more stuff. So it kind of sucks on PlayStation 4. Because I'm pretty sure on PC, you can keep on adding how much, you know, stuff you want into the base. And um, that's pretty cool. So yeah, it kind of sucks in, in uh, PS4 that you cannot add a bunch of stuff. So anyways, so... Um, we got ourselves some stores. I bought um, some armor hey there. thing I'm here, sure and you can buy stuff from these people. Let's see what you Just got. Barter, oh, and um, right. he'll show you guys like a little list of what they got. As you can see, it was kind of a useless post because um, I don't really use armor. I use the Minuteman um, suit. It pretty much gives you like a lot of armor already, so I really do not use armor like single armor and then there's a general uh, trader store which is pretty good if you want to like build a I don't know like a little light switch or something it they, uh, this person has all that parts in that um, little section right here and then over here I just created a random ass clothing store which pretty much sucked that's why I don't have anybody there instead I put this person like in the medical s in the medical room I believe medical room is over here yeah actually it's over here the medical room and there's nobody here what? I thought I put him here last time. I don't know where the guy is. That guy's crazy. So yeah, this whole little area right here is going to be like a little shop area. And then right here in the middle, I put one of those defense posts because uh, you never know when they try to cross over and they already cross in. And uh, we need an extra person right here to be shooting them down before they get in further into the base. So um, And also, the right here, we got ourselves a little farm going on. Pretty cool. My little cow. All my farm area right here. I planted like a over, um, I believe like over 20 potatoes bunch of these little trees and I'll also also uh, planted a lot of carrots as you can see bunch of carrots a bunch of gourds all over the place and that should be enough for the whole base and then over here this little area this little shack right here um, is my personal base this is where I put like some quick equipment as you can see I already have my uh, Meyerler queen steak <laughs> that I actually cooked and it does give you a lot of health um, also have a, like a nuka cola and all that stuff it's a bunch of personal stuff as you can see, I already decorated a little bit right there because uh, it looked too plain to me. I was like, nah, I gotta add some stuff. And that's why I added this little uh, painting of a deer <laughs> or of a doe. What is, what the hell is it called? I know it's not a deer. It's a ram? No, it's not a ram. Ram had the curly curly horns. So um, here's the workshop, by the way. Uh, what else did I... Also, I put more of these around because um, I needed electricity and I needed a cheap, in a cheap way because um, these right here... Um, are all consumed by this big ass tower which does absolutely nothing it does nothing so I had to create another tower over there for recruiting because this thing was not recruiting um, when I was recording off camera actually I did record off camera by the way there's a lot of lost episodes maybe like around seven lost episodes which I would not show because um, I feel like they were boring I feel like they were like really just a bunch of time killer and I don't want that so instead I'm gonna go into the cool stuff like showing you my base now after I defeated the queen boss so uh, this is like my radio tower right here and the reason why I put one because that one does not do shit this is a useless tower I don't know what it does 
maybe some people are skeptical about it and say like, oh no, it's an actual recruiting tower. Well, I actually like simulated like around five days straight and nothing, like nobody showed up into the base. I was like, what the hell's going on? So instead I put like a little recruit recruitment tower and people started showing up like right instantly. I was like, wow, it grew up like from four all the way to freaking 10, like instantly. So um, I don't know what that tower does in reality. Like I really doesn't, I really don't know. Have a little laser turret right here. A pretty cool bridge, by the way. Pretty cool bridge. And then uh, what else did I do? Oh uh, yeah, but but uh, put up uh, a lot of defense posts right here. This one's actually wide open gap, but um, I put uh, one of these things so it will cover it, so enemies cannot flow over. And then another one of these things. I should have put that thing right here because um, I don't know, having an open wide gap like that can people can actually shoot through. So I have this little gun turret aiming over there, and I have this guy. Preston Garvey, what's up? I can already actually uh, make him follow me, so I might do that and ditch Codsworth because I need a little bit of range with me. Uh, what else should I talk about? Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, pretty much this is the base. Oh, and by the way, I brought my armor. Now, the armor thing, it was quite a long story because I thought you cannot teleport with the, with the armor around the map because you know, guys, you can actually fast uh, travel. And I did not know you can actually fast travel with a big suit. So, um, yeah, I actually was dumb enough to like actually like run from, I believe I had the suit over here. And then I actually ran all the way over here. And I was assigned like, huh, I wonder if the, tr the suit can actually fast travel. And I pressed the button, I checked, and I can actually fast travel with a big suit. I was like, god damn, I'm so dumb. I wasted like around three hours and like around two fuses for, uh, for the machine. So, yeah, I finally have it back. I did upgrade some of the plates. I think it's like level 2 now and everything. And yeah, and just the log. I actually brought him with me. So, I did a lot of things off camera, guys. I really did not want to show the process because I believe it was going to be way too long. But if you do really want to see it, though, I do have it saved on my video files. So, um, yeah, you got to let me know if you guys actually want to see the whole process of how I built up this place from the ground up. As you can see, this is a whole bed area. People can actually sleep here. I have like around eight beds in here, I think. Yeah, nine beds in total. So, um, so yeah, this is my whole area right here. This is my castle. It looks super cool. I like it. it it's very spacey. The thing that I don't like though, it, it actually started with like with half of the space already filled filled in, like the size without nothing, without anything added to it. It will have like the size all the way to halfway, which sucks. So. You have like a very limited area to, you know, to upgrade. So that's why the, the first thing I upgrade like right away will be the outside area because I know they have like broken walls and shit, and I don't want those areas open at all, especially with some queen lurking around and shit. So, um, so yeah, this is my castle, and it looks pretty cool. I'm I'm pretty sure some people on PC have it super crazier than mine, but this is kind of simple, you know. This is my um, this is the way I thought it would, it should look like, like with a little market right there, my little. Robot suit right here in a little big ass stage, and then my little garage is right there. My farming area. Also, that little area right there. This one, actually, you can open it with a quest. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the beginning of the video. I did do some quests, maybe like three or two, but they were not like, like that major though. So, um, you should meet this person right after you, con you conquer the castle. And then she'll talk to you like, oh, let me join back into the Minutemen. And you should let her join back in because she's going to show you like, an, like a very secret pathway in order for you to open this door. And what it leads to is to this area right here. Now, this place right here, it was filled with uh, the mini nuke or whatever, the nuke gun thingy. I forgot what was it called. I'm pretty sure I have the gun somewhere in here. I have all my laser guns right here from all the quests that I did, like all the hideouts. Because I did do a lot of hideouts. Only from this area though. See? The only reason why I only did this area is because I already passed all that area. Like, I don't really need to go back to it anymore. Because I found out that all my quests take place like in this area right here. Or this area or something. So I really did not want to spoil out spoil the hideouts. So instead I just went all the way back where I already passed by like several times. And I really don't have um, any quests in that area. So... So yeah, so all my quests, all these weapons that you see right here, I got them from those quests. The laser musket, laser pistol, all laser right there. And then I have my um, my extras over here, my extra weapons that I started off with. Cheap-ass weapons, but they're alright. I'll just leave them there just in case. 
I'm kind of a hoarder in freaking in freaking video games. And then I have all my eat stuff, and then I have a bunch of my you know regular armor thingies, as you can see, all my apparel. And then right here, these things keep on spawning in the flares and the artillery smoke grenades. Now the artillery smoke grenades, though, um, if you do build an artillery thing up here, and you throw one of the smokes, that thing's gonna shoot out. So I think I built it up here somewhere. Let me see. I better go around. So yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna use this whole episode just to like show you guys a little bit of the tour of the, my house and my house and my, and my castle here. Just to show you like what I've been up to lately in Fallout 4. So as you can see, that's the artillery. I had to assign somebody to it, but I'm not gonna do it because I don't know where the who's the hell's assigned to what. So yeah, but it's pretty cool though. You just throw one of those flares and it'll shoot th towards that direction. For example, you just throw it over there and it'll shoot right there. So that's pretty cool. I like the little artillery, and now I can also build them on on other bases too. So that's super cool. So you guys, that is it. You know, as I wanted to show you guys, um, probably the next the next video about Fallout 4 will be quests and stuff, and it's gonna be super cool. And this guy's glitched through the thing. Just climb the damn thing, go around. <laughs> well, you need a little help there, buddy? I can't, I can't push him. Another thing that I did uh, off camera was other bases too. I ended up, you know, doing the supply lines thing. I connected some of the the sanctuary. The Abernathy farm and the Starlight Driving. I ended up connecting them all, and I don't know what that does, but I just. I'll do it, I guess. I have all the busies over here, too, but I don't have anybody on them. Because I don't have junk to create satellites with, so. So, yeah, that's the. So, that's a little tour. Little house tour. Hope you like it. If you dislike it, well, I cannot really do anything about it because I already filled up the whole space for the freaking area as you can see the size I cannot really add any more stuff so yeah kind of sad I wish I was on PC though so if you guys like the castle leave a like in the video if you guys don't well just leave a comment and tell me what you hate <laughs>